Hello everyone, this is Rick from RTAC and Daughters. Today I'm going to tell a little story, hopefully I can get it done in 10 minutes, um, about gun violence. We all know what has happened this past weekend, and it's a sad fact that uh, 40 Americans have lost their lives in gun violence. But uh, the first thing they want to do is yell for more gun control, more gun control, more gun control. They don't want to look at the root causes. Why are so many people committing these acts of mass violence, of mass murder, is what it is. Is it because of uh, not enough fathers in the home? Is it because of uh, video game violence? Now, I am a product of the video game era. Nintendo, Sega, and all that when they first came out. I watched Tom and Jerry. Never once have I ever slapped anybody in the head with a damn frying pan. Uh, but these kids have been decondi deconditioned, um, desensitized in violence in the last 20 years. That's what's really changed. The amount of guns that are out in the general public is just about the same. There are more people in the United States than they were 20 years ago. There are also no insane asylums, no um, places, uh, mental health has declined in this country. Shootings have declined in this country in the last 20 years. Imagine that. Even with these mass killings by individuals. Around 1981, my uncle Roy Lee was killed by a 22 handgun in downtown Cincinnati. The man walked up to him emptied a 22 pistol in his chest at about seven yards and he was dead before he hit the ground. I was only about six then so I'm I'm dating my my age. So I was robbed from the uncle I knew or that I that I never got to know. What kind of influence would he have had on me? Would it have been positive? Would it have been negative? I'll never know. Because this man made a decision who after all he says it was the wrong person. So the man that shot my uncle is still alive in prison today. Some almost 40 years later. Now, is there comfort that he's in jail? Yes. Do I feel satisfied? Does any of my family members feel satisfied that he's still alive and my uncle is not? Of course not. Do we want to kill him or have him see him be executed? I don't think any of us would say no. Somebody might. That's their decision. Um, I'm at the point that he's pay he's not paying. How can you pay for somebody's life without uh, taking their life? So, my family never in the last almost 40 years have I ever heard my family blame a firearm for my uncle's death. It was always the man that did it. Take personal responsibility for your self-defense. Buy you a firearm. Learn how to use it. Carry it properly. Your own personal self-defense is on you. Not the damn government. Because we've seen how good the government does with Social Security. Keeping people out of our elections. Running Detroit. Running Chicago. Running Baltimore. Running L.A. Running Oakland. All the big cities in this country that suck, that are shitholes, is because of the government's failures in their programs. There's a big difference between social programs and social issues. We have communist socialists running for president. Unheard of 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Remember that phrase, communism is a red herring? Doesn't seem that like that anymore, does it? Stop blaming this inanimate object. It does nothing unless I pull the trigger and it's on safe. 
it absolutely does nothing. This pen has killed more people than guns have ever. Of badge legislation that's been signed, remember, Hitler signed into law to take all the guns from the German people. They could have been a German person, citizen, that could have stopped Hitler. Matter of fact, some of them did, tried to, and they paid the ultimate price because of this pen. More people die from obesity. I know I'm fat, so I can talk about that. More people die from car accidents, from texting on your phone, than from guns. It's a proven fact. The African-American man named Neil uh, Tyson, Degrassi Tyson, I believe, um, very well-educated man, made a post about how many people die from what? Medical accidents, 500 a year. Wonder why your doctor costs so much? Because he has to have $10 million medical policy just in case he sews his phone up in you and you die from it. Yeah. That's why medical, that's why med one reason why medical costs are so high. No one likes to talk about that, do they? Am I sad? And I'm heartbroken over these people that lost their family members, of course. It seems like all these, these last two shooters, or last three shooters have been, two of them been linked to Antifa, and one was just a crackpot. That some say, oh, well, he was part of the alt-right. Well, the alt-right is nothing. It doesn't even really exist. It's a news term. Antifa exists, and they said they were going to do something. Supposedly the manifesto that that guy posted in El Paso was from 4chan clan. Wait till that shows up later on. Everybody's got their panties in a wad yelling gun control, gun control, gun control. We need to be uh, held accountable. People need to be executed for capital crimes again. Not on death row for 20 years. Not getting off on some technicalities. There's 22,000 gun laws on the books now. And when my uncle was killed, there were 18,000. Not one of those new fucking gun laws would have saved my uncle in 1981. What makes you think this is going to save somebody else? We have people drive cars into festivals and kill people. We have some people running around with knives killing people. And... We don't want to blame the people. We don't want to hold those people accountable for their actions. So you're going to try to take away my right to defend myself and my family because you want to feel good about something. You think the government's going to help you. The government's not here to help us. We are the government, the people of this great country. And if you don't think this country's great, then you're an idiot and you need to leave. I don't care where the hell you was born at, in this country or out of this country. If this country is such a shithole, then why are millions of people running 4,000 miles up Mexico from Central America to get here? Maybe it's because of the free shit we give them. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what party you are, especially if you're a Democrat. You need, Especially if you're a Republican and you run on... No, ga no more gun control like Dan Crenshaw and then turn around and say, I want this TAPS Act. That's bullshit. That violates our Second and Sixth Amendments. Guess what happens if they get rid of the guns and take away the Second Amendment? They're going to come take the First Amendment. Look at Great Britain. You can't say shit on Facebook without going to jail. Real jail, not Facebook jail. So, share this video. Like and subscribe to Our Attack and Daughters. Get yourself out there, get trained, get your firearm, take your own responsibility for your self-protection to yourself. And maybe you can stop some nut job from shooting up our great people. Whether Republican or Democrat, Independent, even the name commies. No one needs to die like that. We'll see you next time with our regular scheduling programs. Y'all be safe out there.